Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be vlogging once again. Um, nothing really exciting going on today. I thought I would just pick up and vlog because I have to just get into the habit of doing that. I've been recording a lot on my phone because I don't like to take my camera like, you know, when we went to Dinosaur Park or when I go into town, I don't like taking my camera because it is expensive. It's like, you know, over $1,500 for, for the camera as well. Uh, it's really hot here. It's really, really hot. All summer, it's it's really hot. It gets like, oh, you can see my dirty. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> but I did, I mopped the floors, uh, I think it was a couple days ago, and I just put it there to let air out. I'm so sorry for that. I'll just kind of, there we go. Um, that's embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Um, but anyways, it's really hot. It gets hot all summer here. It gets like 32, 35 degrees Celsius. And I don't want to leave my camera in my car or take it with me in case it might fall and break when I'm in town and going in and out of shops. But we just have a little errands to do, Jimmy and I, today. So we are going to take you along with us. Um, he's just in the shower right now. So I'm just waiting to do my makeup and put some earrings on. Like I said, every time I get out of the shower, I feel so hot that I just need to like relax for a little bit. So, um, wash the dogs yesterday too. Oh my gosh, they are so, Rosie is easy. They love their baths. I've been bathing them, you know, ever since we got Aries because we got Aries when he was only like eight weeks old and then Rosie was a rescue, but she, she likes baths. We get them groomed, but I try to bath them at least once in between their groom. And Rosie is easy because she's such a small dog and Aries is just so big that I literally am sweating by the time I get out of there. Like he just stands there, like he doesn't do anything, but it's just so much work. Um, but they are nice and clean. Aries is looking at me right now. He's sitting on his old man chair. There's Aries. Here's Aries with his old man chair. So, um, yeah, we have a couple errands to do and we're trying to get rid of things. I've mentioned this numerous times, but Jimmy is still working on cleaning out his workshop. And I cleaned out my closet again the other day. I've been cleaning it probably once every three months. Just getting rid of stuff that I don't wear, use, want, um, and whatever I can sell, I will. So I have to drop off, I think, three items that I ended up selling. Like, you know, things that are worth a lot, like a Lulu lemon bag, um, you know, Nike shoes that are just like too uncomfortable for me. They're too narrow for my foot, things like that. Um, so I have to drop off those things today. And then when we come back home tonight, we have sold the chicken coop. So I thought, you know, I said to Jimmy, we might as well try to sell it because Jimmy built that and he built it so good and it's, it's insulated. The whole entire thing is insulated. It can fit probably about four or five chickens and it has two lane coops, which there is, um, you can make a third. And it's just, it's really well made, really, really well made. So we thought we would be able to sell it, which we, we did, and they're coming to pick it up tonight. So that is exciting. Another thing out of our yard that we can kind of get rid of, because like I said, we're just slowly over the course of like, you know, the next three years, getting rid of all of the stuff that we have accumulated. Um, it's always so funny, you know, when you're, you're growing up or like, you know, getting older, twenties, thirties, whatever, and you accumulate all of this stuff because of all of this stuff that you need, you need and, you know, a power washer, a lawnmower and like all of these things. And then the time comes when you move into like a, a condo or a smaller place or traveling in your fifth wheel, like we are doing, um, you have to get rid of it all. Like, it's just, it's so funny, um, that that happens but a lot of stuff we give into um, the girls we went through all of our camping stuff and gave them to the girls because we don't camp a lot anymore we do have um, a pole trailer which is like older like probably 2010 and we're gonna gut it and renovate it and then sell it but everything like we don't really camp anymore and we have different when we go traveling we're gonna buy an rv and then we're gonna tow our SUV behind it so we won't need the pull trailer anymore because we won't have a truck like I said years down the road like we're talking three four years but you got to prepare like these things take time and like I said to Jimmy like there's only so many summers before we move right so we have to do all of the outside things that we need to get done because if anybody knows the winters last like eight months here in Canada and um, you know the summers are nice and hot so we try to take advantage of that but join us today come along with us see what we get done 
All right, we just finished um, going to London Drugs. We had to stop by there. And because they, they have the books that I sell in my shop. Um, I don't get them like from a company. I just get them from the London Drugs and they're really, really hard to find. So lucky enough, there was five of them there. So I usually check there and I usually check the one in Lethbridge as well. Jimmy um, just went into the washroom. I'm just waiting to meet up with one of the ladies that bought one of my stuff. Um, she said she'll be about 10 minutes or so, which is fine. We're in no hurry. Um, we just have here a couple things to do in town and then like I said, the chicken coop is sold and they will be by our place around seven tonight. So that is such a relief to get that out of the yard and have that gone. And like we were talking on the way in, it's just so well made and Jimmy spent so much time building that. So I'm really grateful that we were able to sell it. We sold it for $200, which is I think very reasonable, um, you know, chicken coops go for like a thousand dollars or somewhere around there they go for a lot a lot of money so i think 200 is more than fair so we are just waiting here for to meet up with the lady like i said in about 10 minutes and then i'm not sure if we have anything else to do i said to jimmy i said we really don't have a lot to do and we're getting all the things done right away i'd like to maybe go to the dollar store i always like to look at the dollar store for some stuff um, but I don't even think we need to get any groceries. You guys, we don't eat a lot of groceries now that the girls are gone. Like, holy, like I said, we are hunters. So we have venison like for the whole entire year, roast, steak, ground meat, um, like sausage. We make everything and holy man, we just do not go through a lot of groceries anymore now that the girls aren't home. So I don't think we even need to get groceries today, but I definitely will keep you guys up updated and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, we are waiting to get gas at Costco and um, also wanted to give you a little update on Jimmy <laughs> with your surgery. Jimmy had um, pretty much one of his last appointments. He needs to go once again at his one year mark, which is in January. Um, Jimmy, how did your appointment go? Good. Look at Jimmy got deodorant all over his shirt. Don't care. Do you, Jimmy? No. No. Um, yeah, it did. It went really well. Everything's healing properly. Has a little bit more healing to do, but pretty much in the clear. Jimmy's back to doing normal duties. He actually, he ended up moving that chicken coop by himself the other day. Didn't you, Jimmy? Without adult supervision. You rebel. Are you going to say anything? No, no, I'm good. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy just he's a man of little words he doesn't talk very much I make up for all of the talking and uh, you know he just sits there and listens like a good husband I taught you well right baby yeah that's something see this is exactly what I deal with anyways we are going to get gas we're in line um, for getting gas at Costco and then we decided that we were just gonna actually have a bite to eat in Costco because it's four o'clock um, and we haven't eaten so we thought we would grab something here and then like I said the chicken coop is being picked up at seven o'clock and we will have that that'll be nice to get out of the yard though like I said Jimmy's doing a, the, the backyard is all done um, or the back alley is all done he's working on his workshop now with getting things cleared up I'm waiting for the big reveal so I can't wait to see it. You're not allowed in there, Janet. I'm not allowed in there. That's where you're going to sleep. We're going to put a bed in there for you. I'm in. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> so anyways, we will keep you guys posted. Like I said, probably just get food and heading home after that. I think we're done everything in town. And we'll say, see you guys in the next clip. All right. We are in our backyard, our back alley, actually. And sorry, it's windy. This is the chicken coop. We're so sad to see it go because, like I said, Jimmy did so much hard work on it. But, uh, you know, it's going to a good home. The lady sounds super, super nice. So we will, we are just waiting actually right now. Um, she said she's on her way in about, she'll be here in about 10 minutes. Oh, it is so nice out, but it is windy. So sorry if you can hear the wind. But it was like 30 degrees today, but the wind really, really helped with the heat. But it is absolutely gorgeous now. It's like 6.30, 7 o'clock outside. And normally, honestly, like Jimmy and I are ready to go to bed at this time, like 7, 8 o'clock. 
Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous outside. All right, the chicken coop is gone. And actually it was funny because um, I ended up knowing the lady. I ended up knowing the lady that um, came and picked it up. I knew her sister. I worked, I used to work with her sister out on the base. So that was small world. Also, I wanted to show you guys my new sign. Let me show you. I don't think I showed you guys, but this is my new neon sign that I have in my office. I thought it was just so cute to have in here and I absolutely love it. So it has a remote as well. So I'm just looking for the remote so I can turn it off. But that is it. I'm just shutting, is this gonna work? Shutting down everything in my office and that is it for the night. It is almost eight o'clock and it is past my bedtime. <laughs> like I said, Jimmy and I go to bed fairly early, but I wanted to make sure that I closed out this video. So thanks for spending the day with us and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.